I've been looking at all these lovely timber frame buildings. This is what stands out in Coggeshall is the old timber frame buildings that are centuries old. And we have a resident, another remarkable person who lived in Coggeshall and he has a link to the old timber frame buildings that we see. This man's name is Cecil Hewitt. He moved to Coggeshall in 1960 and he made some remarkable changes to the dating of timbers in these old buildings. In actual fact, he caused quite a stir when it came to uh, temple barns, crossing temple barns, and our own Coggeshall barn, because he proved using his own uh, methods he said that the barns were a lot older than they they were estimated previously and carbon dating and end endochronology actually proved him correct so this man made quite a change historically and this is one of the buildings that would have fascinated him while he was here in Coggeshall. I'll give you a little bit about him. Cecil Hewitt Born 1926, died in 1998. Cecil Hewitt moved to Coggeshaw in the late 1960s and was a familiar sight around the town and occasionally in the wall pack. It was during his time in Coggeshaw that he became famous through his knowledge of historic carpentry. It was his understanding of the development and dating of jointing in timber buildings that pushed the date of the Grange Barn from the generally accepted 15th century to the then revolutionary 12th century, a date which was later confirmed by carbon dating and dendrochronology. Cecil's artistic flair showed from a young age and he was regarded as an art prodigy. By the time he was eight years old he was very competent with sharp-edged carpentry tools and was making superb models of wooden farm machinery. His attention turned from farm buildings to church buildings and by the time he was 12 he was convinced that conventional dating of timber frame buildings was largely wrong. It was this early appreciation of timber frame buildings and experience of acquiring knowledge of timber frame buildings first hand that set the pattern for his research. It was his interest in carpentry and the dating of old timber buildings that changed his life. He started to write and publish articles on carpentry from his own observations, bringing invitations to give lectures at various locations, including the Institute of Archaeology in London. Hewitt's approach was to study the work of carpenters of the past 
their methods, especially the evolution of the joints used and the use of sharp-edged tools, and he established a strict datable sequence of joints and techniques. He investigated the Crossing Temple barns and the dates he proposed for these and other buildings did not go with some of the experts and indeed proved to be something of a bombshell among the historical architectural fraternity. For a number of years researchers were split over his work but gradually his ideas have gained acceptance, especially with the coming of the more precise scientific technique of tree ring dating. It was in 1980 that Cecil published one of his major works, English Historic Carpentry. But not long afterwards he suffered a severe stroke which left him unable to communicate. But it did not affect his memory. Against all odds, he gradually regained all his faculties. The stroke forced him to retire, although he did make one more effort to return to work. Retire gave him the opportunity to publish yet another book entitled English cathedral and monastic carpentry in 1985. That's Cecil Hewitt dating old timbers in old buildings would not be the same if it were not for him now. So if you enjoyed this video as always I'll put it up there and I will see you in another video, stay safe.